Just breathe it in. It feels so good. This fresh snow. It's so much fun. I love shoveling it. And, you know, it's just great. You know, people say, oh, you know, let me shovel for you. Why? Why do you get all the muscles? Why can't I have them? And it's fun. Of course, maybe I wouldn't want to do it every single day forever, but we always like variety. Anyway, my topic, dear precious, beautiful spirit soul that you are, is what you are thinking of you is none of your business. Now, you know my book, What You Think of Me is None of My Business. What you think of you is really none of your business. Do you get it? We're not what we think about. We're not our thoughts because you're the thinker, you see. It's like, if you're speaking the word, how could the word be greater than you? Got it? Yeah. So you take a look at, it's like the thinking. Sometimes we're thinking and glorifying. This is what I know, because we all got the same mind, basically. As I'm thinking of, oh, how I was fabulous and I did this, or maybe looking for some morsels of nectar in some past experience. This is fine. You can do all that if you want. But it's, it's what we're doing is... Um, Building our reality based on thoughts and who we think we are and what we think about, you see. And that's why education is so big that it has to be nationalized or globalized or however, or whatever it is. When someone wants, it could be home-wise, it could street-wise. So, that you get control structure or control freaks, basically. And these are entities who have lost their soul, basically, because they're not trusting their inner guidance they're acting from within. So they're always in a state of fear. And that's a symptom of that mind virus. It's a constant state of fear. And how you know what that that mind virus is up to, if you watch the mind, that will tell you so that when we're believing it, and we're thinking those thoughts about ourselves. You know, I, it's so amazing how, and then you can be glorifying yourself and then pretty soon you, you're on the other side. You just, you're just, you, you don't deserve to anything. You're just the worst and the awful and the terrible. And then, and then you got to try and protect yourself so everybody always thinks you're good and you don't have, we've all done good and bad things. And a lot of times when we think we're really good, we're actually really bad because it's like, it's, um, it's a conflict where we rise above those, but what we do is we, only, we, we endeavor to only um, act from or be from what is good for all. You see, you see what I mean? And so you want to realize is you maybe write down some words that you identify with yourself, you see. What are these sentences that are put together that are commands that someone else said to you? It's like, you, you're crazy. Boom, and go right there, and you go, I'm crazy. No, what is crazy anyway? What's insane other than sane from within? Sure, I'm insane. Are you kidding? <laughs> Otherwise, you're out sane. You see, the op the, it's always the opposite. That's how the lie goes. That's how the virus does that, you see. And when you perceive from that, and then you follow that and believe that because it's such a constant thing, because it's living off of you, so the power then you have to take back and then breathing in the oxygen into the heart, you see. And instead of using your oxygen and energy for this mind and analyzing, figuring, thinking, scenarios, loss, what will happen, don't ever do when somebody say, imagine yourself it's with this problem. And look, look, no, 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 I don't care who they are. I will not do that, and I will not emotionalize that, you see. I got that from a sign on um, Hollywood Boulevard in L.A., in Hollywood, and as a billboard and had a dog leaning up against a police car 
And the sign said, get involved in crime. And I said to myself, no, I'm not. That's not my choice. And when we start to get, reality is created by our agreements. And then we're agreeing to those thoughts. And so you're trying to have a higher thought because you don't want a lower thought. And then you get a lower thought and then your mind's going to give you a higher. And then you get a higher thought and the mind's going to give you a lower thought. And it's always this battle where people say, I don't feel worthy. I don't feel good enough. Everything I'm trying to just, you know, just doesn't work and all of this. Well, yeah, you see. So it is the freeing of the self. And that comes from realizing, and in my book, what you think of me is none of my business. It's excellent. And, and I'm not saying, because it, it, it's a writing that came through and I had help from a couple of people. They were wonderful, one especially, yeah, yeah. And, because, and then that whole thing, it's still true. Our, our Achilles heel is we, we tend to think we've got to suck off of others somehow, just drain them, that they're, they're our source of food, energy, life, that's the mind virus talking, my darling. It's not you. That's not you. It's not me. And that, in, that artificial, you might say, intelligent mind virus of some kind of thing that had latched on, or uh, I don't know what it, how we let it in, or it happened, or we played a game, or we did it ourselves, whatever it is, it's not who we are. And it can never, ever, ever, ever be who we are and what we are and all that. No. It can only keep us in fear and guilt. And it, can only, and it keeps generating this thing. So the thing is you write those words that trigger you or those words that you think you identify as. They're just words. And then it's a try, well, I gotta be good, I gotta be better, I gotta be on time, I gotta hurry, I gotta go because it's a human race and I'm on blah blah because I gotta get it because I don't have it. And you are it. That's not it. Mm -mm. You gotta know what, it, what everything is for what it is and know and be who you are. That's it, you see. So, my darling, just know that what you think of you is really none of your business because it has nothing to do with you. And what you do is the more you, 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 you merge, meditate with, be in nature, be in your own nature, and listen and, and read and study that which is, 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 is assisting you to bring you to who have full realization of who you are. And that's all. What, what, what else is there? And that means letting go of anything and everything that is not like who we truly are. And then we look at what are we, nectar buzzards. We're looking for pleasure. And the whole thing is our pleasure had been hacked and turned to pain with the virus. Now, how do you return it again? You have to recognize the mind is not God and neither is the word. And there is a divine source and presence and partner with each, that we are each part of and with us, each and every one of us eternally because we are eternity and our source is the energetic of the energies that we are divine energies we emanate we activate in all the qualities of we call the divine or the the true source of all origin yes not just not creation in that sense but be, there's no words you know that and that's the, okay so forget about what they think of you because they're torturing themselves in their thoughts because they're believing and giving power to the sickness Sickness, six, 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 sick. You see. Yeah. Breathe in. You see. Yeah. And know the truth about you. 
and be there now in every moment. And you'll always know what to do. Always be in the right place at the right moment. Always. is there? Why not? Got a better one? And then, whoo -hoo! yes, yes, yes. Open yourself and receive it. Yes. Let it flow through you. Accept your good. Your absolute goodness. Accept it.